vibration reading for the Gemini Sun Moon and Rising sign I want to say thank you for being here thank you for being back this is the month of March and for you Gemini's you have the energy of the stars so this is going to be good it is the last month of the quarter so this is wonderful I want to say thank you so much for being here and for supporting my channel remember this is the month to read and it's going to take 50 minutes um, and 50 minutes will be on YouTube and the rest of the reading you can pick up on on demand okay because um, people have only this attention span of 10 minutes so I don't give a long reading anymore on YouTube because it is so long to uploads and then people don't listen to all the readings so I just do 50 minutes for the rest of the reading um, you guys can pick it up on on demand okay month of March is the wheel of fortune so this is a good month it's a fire month and you guys have your any have the energy vibration from the star uh, month of March of four weeks and in these four weeks the two first week is water and the two last week is fire okay so um, please like share these videos and cross watch and try and pick up the on the moms because there are more information for you guys on the on the moms okay um, I want to say to each and every person thank you for connecting I'm live on Fridays if you guys want to join us so, so Fridays I'm live so let's go in your reading please likes and share these readings so share 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 okay so for the first week uh, you guys have the energy of the two of cups so this is really positive beginning the month you have a water energy um, because this month is a fire energy so um, if you had a situation with a relationship well whether or not this relationship would go good um, you're gonna be connecting with someone and it's going to be the green light yes go with this person okay so if um, you um, we're in a relationship where you were seeing someone and you're trying to figure out whether or not you should go forward with this person yes it is a yes go forward with this person okay um, the reading says change up so we are doing the money extension of the reading so it's going to be in the on demand so remember that so for the first week you're coming in the week with the chariot and it's going to be moving forward with someone in your life or some situation in your life it's a yes go forward second week we have this energy of uh, um, this is going to be positive the second week first week and second week is going to be positive because you have your own energy vibration of the magician in the second week so this is good for you um, Gemini's this is wonderful this is a wonderful positive this is like you're moving forward it's like you have everything that you need to move forward and this is going to definitely be good definitely um, it's going to be good the third week you are dealing with uh, the princess of cups whoever this person is she is a um, whoever this person is she's a Pisces cancer or a scorpion between the ages of 18 and 45 whoever this person is it's as if you're getting a go-ahead um, um, and you're it's as if you're going to be finding out something about this person if you're in a relationship with a Pisces cancer or a scorpion you're definitely going to be finding out something about this relationship the fourth week you um, the men 45 years and older is coming up in the sport week so be aware you um, you Gemini's of what is happening so Gemini men the fourth week it's going to be your week where whatever the situation that is transpiring um, you're going to be having some luck so the wheel of fortune is in the general reading go and listen to the general reading because then you will understand what is going to be supporting you so in the first week it's a go ahead with a relationship or the situation with the person that is coming in your life in the second week um, it is that you have all that you need to move forward in your life in the third week um, listen to your intuition about the spicy cancer or scorpion person that is going to come in your life listen to your intuition because you're going to be right on target for a week for the men 45 years and older it's going to be a wonderful week as we look at the first week going in the second week you have the energy of the king of cups so 
some of you could be finding um, could be connecting with a Pisces cancer or a scorpion man it could be in a relationship sense or it could be at work maybe they are offering you something at work whoever this person is he's coming in and he really cares about you so open up yourself to him because he's going to be able to open up doors of opportunities for you as we look at the second week going in the third week we have the energy of the Queen of Wands, and this is going to be the, the center of your month. That some some of you are dealing with a lady that is an Aries, Leo, or Sagittarius, or obsolete. Now, this could be a situation with your mom for some of you, or this could be a situation with your wife or um, your partner. However, this lady is going to be playing with your life. I'm seeing the grandmothers coming up, so it could be your grandmother that is an Aries, Leo, or Sagittarius. However, this situation is coming up. Whether it's your mom, your grandmother, or whoever this person is, they're going to be the center in your life. And some of you could be in a relationship with a Pisces, Cancer, or a Scorpion, and her mother is a fire sign. Listen to your own intuition over these people because something isn't right. Whatever is transpiring, you're going to be victorious and successful, overcoming a situation with a Pisces, Cancer, or a Scorpion. Now, whoever this part, this lady is, is a young lady between the age of 18 and 45. By you listening to your intuition about this person, you're going to be finding out that she and her mom has been either working together to get something from you or that sort of a thing. But be aware because whoever this person is, is not being very honest, okay? And you're not in the right relationship. Um, if you're in the relationship with a Pisces, Cancer, or Scorpion, that is not the right relationship you're supposed to be with a fire sign person okay so um, be aware of what is transpiring and what is happening because definitely this little young girl and her mother is trying to take you for everything okay and some of you an older Pisces cancer or scorpion it could be your brother it could be your father or a friend could be saying hey I don't trust the mother and the daughter be careful and they're going to be right because they're seeing things much better second week you have your energy um, and this is good in the second week because you have your own energy vibration so it's as if the universe is giving you all that you need to move forward now you have the ten of uh, the nine of swords where there is some worries in the second week but release yourself of this worries because you're going to be getting over this worry so some of you could be having worries with your father and mom some worries some situation because this month is showing up the energy of the mother and the father so um, a lot of ear signs is coming up having issues with their parents whatever the issue is with your parents in the second week do don't worry about it it will resolve some of you are in a relationship with a Pisces cancer or a scorpion man and uh, you're having some worries about this relationship it's as if you're wondering is this the right relationship for me and that sort of a thing okay and they're saying it's okay just go ahead third week you're dealing with a Pisces cancer or a scorpion and um, you're receiving you're protected from this person whoever you are some of you Gemini's are in a relationship with a Pisces cancer or a scorpion person but you're protected from this person now this little young lady and her mom is not really honest and not really positive so be aware of this because they're coming up here but you're going to be victorious and successful and you're going to be protected from these um, people okay the outcomes is the energy of the hangman you're going to be seeing clearly what is transpiring you're definitely going to be seeing clearly what is transpiring you're going to be understanding because the universe is as if the universe is going to be opening up and letting you understand what is transpiring in this month with these people that you're dealing with and it's good if you are in a relationship with a Pisces cancer or a scorpion it is good for you to um, go and listen to that person reading because whoever this person is um, and whatever is happening you have some worries about she and her mom and you're right on target okay some of you could be having some issues with your mother and your sister whatever the situation is you're definitely having some issues with your mom and your sister so be aware of this because this is definitely going to be coming up in this week be 
be aware of what is coming in and what is transpiring because it's going to be definitely coming up in this uh, month that some of you are having issues with your mom your sister and your brothers your mom your sisters and your brothers some of you um, men could be having some issues with your daughter if she's a Pisces cancer or a scorpion I'm seeing this coming in but you're going to be overcoming whatever is coming at you um, you know you men who have kids um, you're going to be protected because you're going to be understanding it's as if understanding is going to be coming out there is some worries um, that is here but nine ninety nine you guys something is going to be ending in your life in the month of March because you have no um, um, endings coming in some of you are going to be finding out that if you're in a relationship with a Pisces cancer or a scorpion that she and her mom has been lying okay she and her mom has been lying you're definitely going to be finding that out that she and her mom has been lying somehow you're going to be finding out something and some of you are going to be warned by a, a Pisces cancer or a scorpion um, you're gonna be finding out that this this man if you're in relationship with the Pisces cancer or scorpion that this man has been lying to you okay that this man has been lying to you you're definitely seeing that that this man has been lying to you definitely if you're married to a Pisces cancer or scorpion you're going to be finding out that this man has been lying to you okay that he hasn't been very truthful and he hasn't been very truthful because there is someone else in his life that he's seen someone else and this is an um this is um he's seen someone else and it is a Aries Leo or a Sagittarius this man hasn't been very truthful to you whoever you are out there you're definitely definitely going to be finding out and this is why I say to a lot of people with the extended reading you will find out what exactly is transpiring because the extended reader give you this and it will let you know exactly what is happening because definitely there are some situation that is happening here whatever is transpiring you're going to be finding out about the Pisces Pisces uh, it's a Pisces cancer or a scorpion um, he's in relationship with you but he's seen someone else and you're going to be finding that out for a lot of you you're going to be having some issues that you have to deal with your mom or um, if you're in a relationship with a Pisces cancer or a scorpion um, person between the ages of 18 and 45 they've been lying and you're going to be finding out about this okay yeah it's kind of sad but whatever the situation is is that they have been um, they haven't been very honest and it is good if you're in a relationship with this person or um, a Pisces cancer or a scorpion it is good um, to find out what exactly has been transpiring okay and go for the extended reading it's just a dollar ninety nine you will know exactly what is transpiring because obviously there's some deceptive situation that is going on okay again we're going to be having two cards for this month so um, here we have card one and card two if you choose card one it says one step at a time lots of uh, little steps make big dreams come true a lot of little steps make big dreams come true so whatever the situation is that you're dealing with just take it one day at a time a lot of little steps will make big dreams come true if you choose card two, it says believe in yourself, see yourself doing well, and you will. Believe in yourself, see yourself doing well, and you will. Okay, so this is the message for you guys, and I'm advising you um, to try and get the extended reading because the extended reading, so much information is going to be coming up. And um, for the rest of you, I'm going to say to you, please like share these videos share 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 these video whatever is happening share these videos and i'm going to be saying enjoy your month and i will speak to you next month namaste welcome to on the moms and